Upgrading your lighting is one of the best ways to make your videos look better. And in this week's video, I've got a quick tip for you on how to improve your lighting very cheaply and very easily. Stay tuned. Hey yo guys, Marlon King here. I make videos about consumer technology and camera gear, so if that's your bag, hit the subscribe button for future videos. Now in this week's video, I've got this great little trick for you with lighting, and I really wish I'd figured it out earlier because it's, in my opinion, made my uh, lighting a lot better um, since I've started doing it. So uh, just as a heads up, I've been using the Yunio YN300 light, which I, I did a review about, so go check it out if you haven't already. But it's a great little light. It's cost between 50 and 100 pounds, and I've been using it for the last couple of years. Great job. However, um, that is kind of like a key light. You need other lights as well, and maybe you're just using your standard room light, and this is where it changes. So here's my standard room light. It was a 10 watt LED warm light bulb. So it's uh, 2700 Kelvin, which is actually just a tad too warm for my liking. But um, nonetheless, that was my bulb. Now I can't remember the exact wattage, but um, that was probably the equivalent of a 60 to 80 watt bulb. And uh, let's show you what I've done. So this is the light I upgraded to, or the bulb I upgraded to, should I say. I bought it from Wilkinson's for eight pound, and it's a 100 watt bulb, or should I say it's a 13.5 watt LED bulb. And more importantly, it's a 6500 Kelvin, which is a white light as opposed to this warm light that I had in previously. Um, and this is gonna make a huge difference. You may not think it, but it will do. And before I carry on, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate what it looks like before and after. So I'm gonna turn off the key light and I'm just gonna set up the camera as I would normally with the previous light bulb and then I'm gonna switch it to this and you can see the difference it makes in the settings. Right, so if you normally record at home and you don't have any additional lights, this is probably a very standard setup that you may use. I've got my room light turned on which is just center of the ceiling. It's using an LED bulb uh, which is a warm white effect. So the camera is set up at ISO 800 f4 because that's the, the the fastest the lens will go and 150th of a second frame rate or shutter speed should i say um, it's using 24 frames per second in 4k mode and i've set the lighting to 3200 kelvin to match the temperature of this light uh, and to give you an idea as well the g7x that is filming this camera is using its widest at f, uh, or so its fastest at f 1.8. It's um, also at ISO 800 and 60 frames per second. Right, so I've just switched bulbs. This is currently the exact same settings on the camera. As you can see, I'm gonna to need to change the color temperature because this is a white light and I decided to go for that deliberately. I'll explain in a minute. Right, so now I've adjusted the color temperature. So you can see it should look a little bit better now. Um, that's matched um, to the color temperature of the bulb, which is 6,500 Kelvin. And I've also now been able to reduce my ISO down from 800 to 400. Again, it's still using the exact same color profile. So all I've adjusted is the color temperature and the ISO, nothing else. And just a note as well on the G7X that is filming this camera, um, the auto ISO is now adjusted down from ISO 800 to ISO 320. Um, so you can see that's made a huge difference. Um, now, for me, it looks on screen, it's difficult to judge sometimes, but the screen looked just, I would probably crank it to ISO 500 uh, in this setup. So let's have a look, see what that looks like. Right, so this is ISO 500. Um, 6500 Kelvin, f4, uh, 150th shutter speed and 24 frames per second in 4K mode. Um, can you see the difference? It may not seem like a lot, but depending on what camera you're using, that difference going from ISO 800 down to 400 or 500 is gonna reduce the level of noise significantly. Now, I know for example, some of my uh, previous Canon cameras, like the 70D for example, great camera, really good autofocus system, really good for video. However, you started to go anywhere close to ISO 1000 or above, 
and you really started to notice the noise being introduced. So um, changing your bulb just like this without any extra lights is gonna make a huge difference. And I hope you can see the difference. I'll uh, flick between the screens so you can see what it looks like. So what did you think? I, I personally think that's a huge difference and it may not notice because I mean I've, I'm using this Sony camera and I got that because it's really good with low light and it's got low noise levels so maybe that didn't make too much of a difference in my my comparison but the sheer fact that I'm knocking off you know 400 on the ISO will be a benefit depending on what lenses you're using or what you have available especially if you're using a compact camera or if you're using your phone, um, this is really gonna help. One of the reasons I liked the fact this is a white light is because when you use white light for filming, it, I mean, obviously you can set it on your camera and it's gonna match the colors and look the same, but with a white light, you can then use warmer bulbs in your surrounding and give it that nice warm look. Whereas if you're already set at 3200 and you're using warm lights to film yourself then you can't quite get that same warm look um, when you're using other external lights in your shot where you can actually see the light um, so that's what i found helpful anyway um, you know it's not necessarily the be all end all you can choose whichever one you prefer or match what you've already got if you've already got several other lights but the most important thing of this video is upgrade your uh, wattage on your current bulb you could see the size difference between these two bulbs uh, it's quite a big difference here and it makes a huge difference just filming here I can turn on my light even if this light packed up I could still get a lot better than normal and there's also an added bonus as well to this daylight 6500 um, you know I get home from work uh, there's a little bit of light coming in if I want to do video um, sunlight's usually best to work with however when it's starting to dim I can quickly switch this on and it's the same temperature as the Sun so I can almost enhance the sunlight coming through whilst retaining that natural light lots of benefits anyway I believe that's it for this video I hope that has made sense I hope you understand why I've done it but most importantly for the sake of spending eight ten pounds upgrade your light bulb and try it out with the camera you're using. Please let us know in the comments how much of an improvement it's made. Has it made any improvement, no improvement? Have you managed to adjust your um, ISO down so you're getting less noise in your shots? What cameras are you using? I'm really interested to see what difference this makes for you. Personally, I'm loving it. And on that note, have a great week guys. I'll catch you soon. Peace.